In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the arpeggiator in Logic Pro X and uh, some neat tricks we can do by printing arpeggiated patterns into MIDI patterns and uh, turning arpeggiated MIDI instruments into audio as well. So I like to use arpeggiators to add some interesting rhythmic elements. Usually when I get stumped when I'm composing a song, and I just feel like it needs something extra in the mix. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new session from scratch. I'm not going to save this. And here we go. So I'm going to start out with a software instrument because arpeggiators are a MIDI effect. So you can load something from your library and you're looking for a sound that has a fairly strong attack and that will work well as a monophonic kind of, you know, one note at a time. Um, so I, let's have a look here. Um, mallets might work well. Actually, I'm going to uh, load up a software instrument that I, I've been trying out some free VSTs and I found a really nice one today um, called Zebra Let which is the light version of a really nice um, so software synth called Zebra uh, Zebra 2 made by uh, Yuhi uh, I don't know how you pronounce that sorry Yuhi you no, don't know. I know that he's uh, a really good software engineer from Germany. So we've got a, let's have a listen to this. I'm just going to turn it down so you don't get your ears blasted. And I'm going to hit Command K to bring up my keyboard since I don't have a MIDI keyboard plugged in. So you can hear there, that's just a C minor chord, F chord, C minor 7. Um, at the moment we're just hearing chords so uh, we can grab an arpeggiator which is something that we load up from the MIDI effects so you have to be looking at your info pane here to do that the I or you can be looking at the mixer here and MIDI effects arpeggiator so this is what the arpeggiator looks like um, now if I just hit my C chord again, C minor chord, it's cycling through those three notes at a rate of uh, semiquavers, 16th notes. And that it will be determined by the beats per minute of my track. So if my track was a bit slower, Um, and then you can do all sorts of wonderful things. You can make it really fast, 32 notes, 64 notes, all the way down to single notes. I, I don't know why you'd be doing. So there are a number of uh, variables here. Um, you can change um, Let's have a look. You can like pre load some presets. So, um, or oh, actually, before I load a preset, I'm just going to set that back to 16th notes and show you. You can actually make it go up more than one octave. So that's just going to cycle in a linear fashion through those notes. So these are some variations. It just uh, sort of randomizes it a bit. But it's sort of the similar similar vibe each time. But the, some of these presets are really good. Um, I'm just going to go classic cycle. So this is when we, as opposed to live, we can actually have a grid that um, has some um, velocities over time. So you can change the velocity of the note to make it more um, sort of interesting and if you click this little note you can make it play the chord that you've got so there are lots of cool little uh, things you can do and I, I usually um, if I'm just composing something really quickly on the fly um, and, and I need some extra rhythmic elements, so just bring up a preset. Um, and then I'll probably just like muck around with that and um, 
till I find something that's working with the song. Um, so if I was to perhaps record what I was playing, um, and I want to show you what's happening here, I'll just bring in a, let's uh, find a drum groove here somewhere. Let's see what we've got. Still got a lot of things to download. I'll just grab anything, it doesn't matter. Um, if I drop that in a, a random spot, it's going to create... Um, I'm not importing the the um, tempo from that because I want it to be the same beats per minute as my track. So this is, I mean, I can record this along to the click track if I want. Um, I'm just um, using this as an example. So I'm going to record now my arpeggiator. Oh, no import source selected. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, should be good. That was just talking about this one here because I had that one record enabled. So let's have a look at what uh, the MIDI is there. So if I double click there, um, you can see that's just essentially chords that I was holding down. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of the loop browser and let's have a look. So these are chords and you don't necessarily really need to quantize these because it, the arpeggiator will always lock into the groove, but um, I'm just going to do the old quantize anyway. Uh, I hit a wrong note here, so I'm going to get rid of that. This was the note I meant to hit. And maybe extend these notes out to the end of their bars so it's playing constantly. Um, And then we can actually change our arpeggiator after the fact if we want to test out a different um, preset. Or oh, let's have a look. So this preset will just conform to the chords that I've got in here. I'll go back to the start. So that's a nice little groove there, and um, if I want to convert that to audio, it's very simple. I just um, select that and go File, Bounce, Regions in Place, and then um, I can give it a name, and I, want, I can pop it on a new track, which I'll do here. I can destructively edit over it if I want. I'd select um, Selected Track. Um, what that will do is print that as audio now. So if I solo that, we've got the audio. So if I really liked that, um, I can export that and keep that as one of my, in my loop library. The other thing we can do, I'm just going to go back um, a few steps. Um, let me see what we've got here. Uh, there we go. Um, another thing we can do is we can actually, um, with this MIDI, we've just got the chords, but we can actually get the MIDI. It's, this is slightly more tricky, but we can get the MIDI uh, pattern of that arpeggiator if we really liked it and keep that as just MIDI. Um, and to do that, I need to create a secondary software uh, instrument track. And there it is there. And I'm going to make an exact copy uh, of the arpeggiator. I'm just going to do that on the mixer view. So here's my mixer. Command, uh, just the, hit the key X. So these are our two instruments side by side. This is the track I just created. 
I want to get that up copied exactly so I'm going to hold uh, I think it's option and command at the same time and just drag it over and drop yep that's an exact copy um, and the next step is rather than having the software instrument on that we want to be putting a external instrument on that track and then um, there's one um, other move here I actually have to go out of logic to do this and open the audio MIDI setup and we can see here this is all the devices uh, the MIDI devices available to us and what I want is that IAC driver so I'm going to double click on that and make sure that that device is online now that device is online MIDI, uh, logic has seen that there's an extra MIDI device here so I can select the MIDI destination as the IAC driver bus one and now it's all set up to print and what we're going to do is actually drag this MIDI clip down onto that new track and then hit record on the first track and just record I'm going to take loop record off see what happens So I don't want to record on that track. Let's try that again. That's more like it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hang on. There we go. Work for me. All right, that's what we want. You can see there, look, that looks more like the arpeggiated pattern printing into the MIDI. Lovely stuff looks like snow and when I have printed that there we go there's my MIDI loop and we don't need so I can actually just go onto that track there um, this track here and get rid of the arpeggiator altogether don't need it anymore I can even delete this instrument if I want. So that's burnt that MIDI up as the entire pattern there. And the different colors there are the different velocities. Looks like MIDI art almost. Look at that. Um, so that's how you use the arpeggiator and um, just use it to add interesting rhythmic and textural layers into your recordings, into your production, and um, have some fun with it. Just as a quick recap, all you have to do, hit plus, software instrument, grab anything you want, pop it in there, and then go to MIDI effects, Dial up arpeggiator, grab a nice preset, and you're ready to go. Let me let me play something on here. Bring up the uh, keyboard. So that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.